107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. So ego would be an example of when you're operating from a place of ego, which is fear-based, that would be, okay, once everything falls into place, then I'll be okay. That's ego because that says that I'm not sufficient or I'm not adequate and I'm not adequate unless everything's okay. All right. Your spirit would say, find peace and know that everything will fall into place. That's where you began. And that's how you know the difference. So with the spirit, um, like I said, the ego is going to operate from a place of fear and the, and the spirit's going to operate from a place of love. So kind of imagine what's your motivation in life? What, what do you, what do you operate from? What filter do you see life through? Do you see it through fear? Do you feel anxious all the time? Do you worry a lot? That would be an indication that you're operating through fear. Or do you feel peaceful that whatever is going to happen was meant to be today? That no matter what, gosh, I'm nervous about maybe I'm going to get laid off or I don't know how work is going to go today or I've got this exam that I'm working on and and I'm not sure if I'm going to do so well. You know, it's just trusting that even when you feel you're wrong, you're still right. Because guess what? Even when you're wrong, you are right because you're learning. It's about understanding that we make we may see ourselves as making mistakes, but I don't see things that way. I like to say that mistakes are actually learning experiences because what they do is they're kind of just like pebbles along our path that get us to where we're supposed to be. We may detour from time to time, but understanding every decision and every step or fall that we make, it gets us to the right place of where you're supposed to be right in that moment. So what I can tell you about your spirit that some of us don't believe or don't understand is that whatever decisions you've made up to this point have been the correct ones. You may not see it now. You may not understand why you're here or why you're feeling sad today or, or how you're feeling like you just can't surrender to the, the next step or you know whatever it is, whatever condition of your spirit that you have, understand that that is there because you're being called to do something, called to take action, called to take a move and make a step. So how do you move from there? How do you get past that? How do you get past that place of despair or frustration? You operate from a place of love. And love looks like you're enough already. Fear, for example, versus love says fear destroys. Like fear will destroy you, okay? It'll show you that to hold back and not be enough. Love would build you, love builds. So think about what am I doing right now? Am I building myself or am I destroying myself? That's an indication to see how, which place are you operating from, fear or love? Fear exposes, it exposes the mistakes, it exposes through gossip, it exposes through critique. Where love covers, it it would cover and say, you know what, you're doing the best you can today. Fear would scream, fear would scream out loud, you're not okay, you're dumb, you've made mistakes, you're an idiot, what are you thinking? Where love would come as a whisper, it would say to you, you're doing just fine, just stay the course. Fear would attack. It would, it would look like someone saying, you know, attacking your own self. Gosh, I just didn't do my best. I, I fell short today. That, that would be fear because it's a judgment. Love would protect and say, you know what? Based on the circumstances that you woke up this morning, you got stuck on the subway. There was somebody yelling at somebody in the street. You, you strop coffee on your feet. That would say, you know what? Considering what all you went through just to get to work today, you're okay and you're gonna make it and you're gonna be safe. Fear with doubt, which to say, gosh, I don't think I'm good enough, or I don't think I have what it takes, or who am I to think that I could make my dreams come true? That's doubt. That's fear because fear wants you to play it safe all the time. Love would say believe. Believe that you are gonna be in the right space, the right time, that things are about timing. And although there are some things in our souls that we're called to do, the hardest part is just waiting for that time for things to fall into place. And that's where we become stuck with control. Control is a dirty word, (laughs) you know, because when we try to have control, what happens? We get less. And there's an old saying that someone told me that how you get control is you give up control. Because in the end, when you give it up, to the higher place, your higher self, universe, God, love, whatever it is that you define as being something that's higher for you. That is when you gain control because you're actually going to step to the right direction in the right way that was designed ultimately for you that we can't see because we're human beings. We're imperfect people walking in an imperfect place. But I can tell you this, your purpose is perfect. The way the design that you were created is perfect. You're actually already perfect in how you are now. The hard part is, is that we get caught up in the, the layers of life, the lies that we've been told since we were little about what we should do, what we should be expected to be. 
And all I'm trying to do is help you understand to take off the layers, the things that have conditioned us to be weak and not believe that there's something strong about us and to look deeper. And again, fear would judge you. Love would accept you. Love would accept you with all the mistakes and things that you've done even today. It would say, that's a part of who you are. That's a part of the experience that has made you better. That's made your soul trust yourself. Um, where fear would want to expose your wounds and expose your, you know, your mistakes and all your worries. Where love would say, I'm working on my healing. I'm working on embracing and connecting to who I really am so I can trust me. A lot of people talk about, gosh, I just don't know how to trust myself. I don't trust my decisions. I, I don't trust that I can, I can, you know, I can, you know, do what I need to do that's in my best interest. And that's because we've been taught that when you've made mistakes in the past or you made a decision that didn't go well, you were taught, oh, I didn't make a decision last time, so I definitely can't make a decision in the future. That's actually not true. Trust, sometimes you won't know the answers always. And trust that you may not know how things turn out. But again, today, you're in the right space. You're where you're supposed to be because you're still here. You're still on this planet. And I can tell you this, I believe there's someone higher that is governing your life. Either it's a consciousness or it's a higher version of you, whatever you define it as being. And there's a universe that wants you to be successful. There's a universe that wants to take you to a place of love and abundance. You just have to trust in the illogical. That is what you'll set you free.